Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. This time out, a versatile combination delay and reverb pedal from Source Audio. Let's get started. Today we're checking out Collider, this pedal here to my right from Source Audio. It's a combination of a digital delay along with a digital reverb all in one enclosure. There are multiple ways you can route this and multiple ways you can put those dual effects to work. Like all of Source Audio's one series pedals, this is based around a 56-bit processor. There actually are two of those processors inside here and we have two completely independent effects. By using this switch here on the front panel, we can determine what the controls are actually controlling. So when we put this switch over to the right, the controls are actually controlling the delay effect. Put it to the left, and we can now access the parameters for the reverb effect. We have two different on-off buttons, so we can access the two effects simultaneously or independently. Reverb here on my left, and delay on my right. The delay switch also functions as a tap tempo switch, but the control capabilities go beyond this. We can access four or eight presets right here from the front panel, and up to 128 presets can be accessed via MIDI. All of the parameters are stored, so you can have combinations of reverb, delay, whatever you want to have set up in different presets and then call those up instantly. On the back panel, we have an expression input, so you can use a pedal to control any or all of the parameters, and you can set ranges for those as well. And we can also incorporate this into the Source Audio ecosystem. Now, we've talked about this in a video in the past, but it allows the neural control to access everything that's happening inside the pedal, call up presets, and so on. And you can also control all the parameters, set up presets, do all your editing using a computer app, so you can really dig deep and configure this the way that you want. We have three different I.O. routings. There's stereo input and stereo output jacks, and those can be configured for mono, dual mono, where you have a separate effect on each side, or stereo. We also have MIDI in and MIDI out jacks, so we have a full complement of control capability in this compact pedal enclosure. As far as parameters, when we're in the reverb setting, like we are now, we have control over pre-delay, decay time, Two different control buttons. Now those will vary depending on what parameters are accessed on the different programs. In one program it might be modulation, in another program there might be something else. We also have an overall tone control for the reverb as well as a mix control. We select the different reverb algorithms using this control knob in the center. When we switch over to delay, we now have delay time, feedback, tone, and two controls that change depending on the algorithm. With a tape echo, for example, you might have tape age as one of those. And with a digital delay, you might have modulation depth and rate. We also have the mix control, of course, and the center knob controls the algorithm that we're selecting. The algorithms, the sound quality, and basically the functionality of this pedal comes from two different flagship pedals in the one series line from Source Audio. The Nemesis, which is their top of the line delay, an extremely powerful delay that roots really dig in. And then we also have the Ventress, which is their dual reverb pedal. Again, a very powerful reverb that allows you to get in and really access all the parameters. So what they've done is taken a subset of the Nemesis and the Ventress and combined those together into the Collider. You have all the sound quality, all the programming capability. You just don't have quite as many algorithms as you would have in the individual pedals. In total, we have seven different reverb algorithms and five different delay algorithms. Let's listen to those now. For reverbs, we begin with a room reverb. <laughs> Our second option is a nice hall reverb. Source Audio has also included their True Spring Reverb, a very authentic sounding recreation of a spring reverb from an amplifier. One of my favorites is the Plate Reverb. It's very smooth and warm sounding. For creating ambient sounds, the Shimmer Reverb algorithm is very powerful. It includes pitch shifting along with ambience. For a large cavernous style reverb that gives you a great special effect, the E-Dome is an awesome algorithm. 
And finally, the Swell algorithm is a great choice when you want to add texture and depth to your sounds. Now one thing I want to point out here is with that 56-bit processing that's available inside the collider, the reverbs decay very smoothly. These are actually studio quality reverbs. You could actually use this in your studio and get great results with it. So to use it on your guitar gives you tremendous sound quality. We also have five different delay algorithms to choose among. We begin at the top with a vintage oil can style delay. Our second algorithm is a reverse delay. Third, we have tape delay. Fourth, we have an analog delay. And finally, we have a digital delay. And of course, you can mix and match delays and reverbs however you like. So you can choose different algorithms for reverb, different algorithms for the delay, set your parameters up, adjust the tone, adjust the feedback, the decay time, and so on. Then when you're finished making your adjustments, if you move this switch to the center position, it locks out the controls so you won't accidentally change any of your settings. So if you're using the front panel to call up the different sounds that you want, you can easily lock that out when you're set where you want it to be. Now when you're in the preset selection, you can just step through the different presets, of course, and it'll call back your settings exactly the way you had programmed them. One other very powerful feature of the Collider is you can actually configure this as a dual delay or a dual reverb. So if you don't want delay and reverb at the same time, you'd rather have two different delay settings, you'd rather have two different reverb settings, you can do that as well. And remember, we can route in mono, in dual mono, or in stereo with this. If you're looking for an extremely powerful delay pedal, an extremely powerful reverb pedal, you want to save space on your pedal board, or you want to have combinations of those two effects, you really need to check out the Collider from Source Audio. With dual 56-bit processors, it's an extremely powerful pedal that gives you great sounding effects for both reverb and for delay. Thanks for joining me here for Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more guitars, more amps, more effects. We'll be making lots of music. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Mm -hmm.